Whenever we talk about nonviolence and peace and justice, or specifically nonviolence, people always say, well, what about, you know, and John Howard Yoder had come lectured, was lecturing, guest lecturing in a class that I took once. And I loved his answer because somebody said, well, what if, you know, the six-year-old, the guy has a gun to your six-year-old head, what are you going to do? And he looked at them and he said, you know what? We don't know what we're going to do in a what if, but to base your entire ethical and moral stance on a what if is really stupid. And I love that answer because I don't know what I would do if I was in the presence of Hitler or if I was, but the other, actually one aside on that is Hitler couldn't have done what he did on his own. And that doesn't happen because of one person. Well, I might not know exactly what I would do if you had a gun to the six-year-old's head, if I prepare myself to think of different options, maybe I'd be prepared to do something other than blow off your head. You know, and to me, or maybe I would be in a situation where I wouldn't be in that situation to begin with. And that's where I think it's really important that we learn. I was going to say teach, but I'm, I'm learning myself, right, and how to respond differently. And I'm really convinced that we need to train ourselves. If, you know, we train the military, and they respond that way because they've been trained to kill. If we respond, if we train to respond in a different way, perhaps it would be different. And we haven't tried that. You look at Gandhi. I mean, Gandhi fasted, and it brought the British nation to its knees. That's power. It's like, there is power here, and we need to see how that works. It has been successful.